Okay, there you go. You see that? You see that, guys? That's my gecko. You see that? His name is Dave. All right? Look at him. Look how cute he is. That's my gecko. His name is Dave. I named him after Dave Palumbo because this was once Dave Palumbo's. All right? You like him? Look at him. Say hello. Say hello. Dave. He, just, he doesn't have big legs like Dave Palumbo does, but he does have the big head Dave had. There you go. All right. All right, there's Dave. He's getting all his happy. He's climbing in his tree. Wait, ready? Let me put the light on him. He doesn't like light, guys. All right? He's a gecko. He actually likes the night. But you know what? You know what? Hold on. I got to show you his friend. This is his buddy. It's Mr. Crayfish. Where is he? You know, us New Yorkers, this is a crayfish. You find him in the swamps and shit. You fucking guys down south there. Crawfish or mud bugs. Anyway, I feed him with these pliers because he fucking bites my hand. He bite, he's like my mother-in-law. He bites the hand and feeds him. Get called bugs. I got to feed him bugs. Bro, I, I, I got to go buy bugs. Bugs. I got to buy bugs. When all I have to do is go to my mother-in-law's house, she's got a cockroach farm all over the place. Just get some of her cockroaches and throw them in here. My girlfriend won't let me do that, though. She's afraid the cockroach will get out of here and fuck it, and we'll have cockroaches in this house. Anyway, so that's that's the deal with that. So you got this guy eats bugs. They eat mealy worms. He'll eat my fucking thing. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Look. Look at him. You see him down there? You see him? Look at him. Look at him. I'm going to give him a shrimp. See, look. So i got to put my hand in here. Watch this. Come here. Look, look, look. look. Hey! Oh! There he goes. He's got the whole shrimp. He's eating the shrimp. You see him eating the shrimp? My other things... Okay, I got two turtles. They were, they were this big when I got them. They were tiny. Alright, they were in a bug catcher. I gotta feed them shrimp. They fucking better than I do. I buy the shrimp from, uh, you know, obviously it's it's Walmart shrimp. They're raw shrimp. I buy them smallest. They eat about ten. They eat about ten shrimps. So I'm gonna feed them right now. Watch. Okay, stupid. Out of the way. Out of the way. Is there another turtle over here on the side? Alright, come on. Hey! 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 Come on. Hey! Let go! They're thick-headed. They're... they're they must be Italian. All they want to do is eat. They're thick-headed. I gotta watch. They'll bite my friggin' hands. Okay? I feed these guys. I, I know, I'm like Palumbo with the reptiles over here. But I got these two turtles. They fight like fucking crazy over food. Alright? I give them ten shrimps. They eat them all. Okay? Let me put these fuckers in here. Look, the other one hasn't eaten anything yet. Let me pull one down there. Look. Come on. Hey. Oh my god. I used to have a dog. I'm gonna get a dog. Now I got my girlfriend's mother. It's like having a big fucking dog, if you know what I mean. It's like gavones. Two gavones. They don't stop eating. Anyway, so that's part of what I do here. Anyway, so I got this guy, this guy, and in here, I got underwater frogs. Right now they're sleeping, so forget it. The water's a little hazy. We gotta, we gotta fix the water. But, that's what I gotta deal with all the time. Alright? I gotta feed them the underwater frogs. I sometimes I give them even like mealy worms, all right? I'll give them mealy worms as well. And this guy, I gotta feed him bugs. That's the shit I gotta deal with over here at the Valentino house. Those are my kids up there. Anyway, all right, enough. What do I want? I want to see. I want to show you guys too. Hey, Momo Mafia baby, coming at ya. Stop fucking around. <laughs> In a world full of expectations, where time is of great concern, humanity will search for answers, and one man will find the power. Okay guys, what's going on? Welcome to the Ramblin' Freak Show. Alright, listen to me, okay? 
this is a last minute thing. I actually just got the approval a couple hours ago to do this show. So right now, I got no background. I'm sitting with a white background. I'm sitting with no microphone. I'm sitting with just some lights in my fucking eyes. Okay, that's why I have to wear the glasses. Sim it down. I got an eye injury. I don't think I'm slick. That's why I wear the glasses, okay? Because, I, you know, I fucking hurt my eyes a long time ago. And my left pupil is permanently dilated. You see? Do you see that? Look. You see? It's permanently dilated, so I can't see. That's why I always wear sunglasses. Not because I think I'm fucking slick. And I'm not going to be sticking my face in a camera. I'm going to have a nice background. I'm going to have a nice seating. But for today, for this show only, i got to do it like this. All right? So you got to bear with me. This is a rambling freak, bro. You're going like, to like what some of the shit we're going to do. I'm going to talk about a little bit of everything. I'm not politically correct. As you'll always know, I'm more anally direct. Um, and that's it. But before I get started, I just want to say something. There's going to be a lot of you guys out there. Look at Valentino. What a fucking sellout. Ah, you know, what a, what a, what a hypocrite talking shit, you know. One minute he's on the RX Muscle Show. He's talking with Dave Palumbo, you know, oh, MD this, MD that, this, that, the other thing, because he got fired and all that stuff. And then, you know, he's over there with MSM, you know, Joe Pietaro's magazine fighting with them. And it, Listen, everything's cool. Everything's calm. Relax. Steve Blackman and I had a long talk, okay? And Steve even apologized to me, all right, for the way, you know, my release from MD was handled, okay? The, the industry's changed a lot. A lot of guys had to get released because of the money, because of the way, you know, the internet is and everything else. So, relax. Nobody's a hypocrite. As a matter of fact, Dave Palumbo, I text him, I want to unite the clans, really, to be honest with you. Uh, Joe Pietaro from Muscle Sport Mag even, you know, wished me congratulations. I'm going to do stuff with everybody, okay? So, simmer down with that fucking hypocrite shit and all that fucking sell it. I didn't sell out nothing, all right? This is Iron Mag Labs presents Muscular Development's Ramblin' Freak. So, I want to thank... Rob DiMaggio for making this happen, okay? And Steve Blackman, obviously, for calling me, talking to me like a man, apologizing, actually, for the way things went down. And who am I to turn down that and say to him, oh, fuck you, all right? That's ridiculous if any of you people want that, okay? And I know some of you people relish in the RX, MD, bashing and stuff, but that's not going to happen here, okay? Because I want to unite the clans, all right? So, for right now, I want to thank Rob DiMaggio and Steve Blackman both. Thank you both. Thank you, Iron Mag Labs. All right? You know, there's a lot of, a lot of shit happening right now in bodybuilding. Bodybuilding's upside down. Okay, obviously, you know, we know that you know, the internet's so strong right now. You got Piana fucking sick. And, and, you know, everybody with the rumors about him. You know what I mean? You got, you got like... You know, this guy, Louis Marco, making millions of dollars off of, you know, because he could talk a daily, you know, and, and about everybody else. I'm, down, I'm not ranking him down, but come on, be realistic, you know. If the internet's changed, bodybuilding. If you, if you had Phil Heath, all right, sitting at a table and you had Rich Piana sitting at another table, I can tell you what. Rich Piana's going to get more people than Phil Heath, and he's Mr. Olympia. Sorry, Phil, if you're watching this, get over it, bro. Get over yourself, Okay. I saw you in that fucking bubble bath in that movie. What was it, Generation Iron 1? Come on, bro. Bubble bath? I haven't taken that shit since I was five years old. My mother threw me in there with, like, Mr. Bubble. I made my own bubbles. Bubble, you know what I mean? But anyway, Phil Heath, bro, is going to win the Olympia. Let, let's be honest. Who's going to beat him? If Cedric McMillan got his head together and really could train the way he needs to train, uh, Cedric would probably beat him. But, you know, Sean Roden's going to fucking give him a good run. Big Rammy looks like Big Hammy. Yeah, he looks great in the pictures. I sit there and I go, holy fuck, look at Big Rammy. He's huge. And, ah, he. But, dude, there's not a fucking split or separation on his thighs. They're huge. They're humongous. I'm sorry. I know that's going to make a lot of you freak out. I'm a piece of shit. I don't know what I'm talking about. Blah, blah, blah. You're going to see. Okay? Phil he's going to win the Olympia again. So, enough of that shit. Who gives a fuck? But, um, anyway... You know, I just, uh, I'm going to do a lot of shit on this channel. I'm going to talk about a lot of stuff. Not all bodybuilding, too, so simmer down. All right? Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about what I do here at the house. 
uh, you know, get into the life of the rambling freak. All right, maybe if I could get my girlfriend's mother on a thing here. Dude, if I interview her, forget about it. You guys would fucking go nuts. But I told the story before. My mother-in-law, a couple months ago, eh, about a year, it actually was a couple months, it was about a year ago. This is how bad she is. She threw a fart. She was sleeping in the back room, and there's no, there's no air, there's no air conditioning back there, and the windows were open. My next door neighbor Joe, he keeps his dog outside. It's called Cosmo, right? She threw a fart so fucking loud that the dog outside heard it through the window. This is the next door, okay? Heard the fart, started barking in the middle of the night. That's how, that's how loud she farted. It, with the windows open, she, he, the fucking dog heard it. So my neighbor, to shut his dog up at 4 in the morning, 3 in the morning, 2 in the morning, he'll go outside and he shoots it with a BB gun. And he shoots it right in the fucking ball sack. So now, because she farted so fucking loud, poor Cosmo's out there. Right to the fucking, and Joe's out there. Shah! And he's shooting, him, shooting his own dog with a BB gun. That, that's, that's fucked up. Okay? That's the kind of shit I got to deal with. Well, the next day, I had to tell him. That was my mother. My mother why, you know, because the dog's barking. I told him, dude, you shouldn't have shot the dog. Why you shoot the dog? And he's like, the fucking dog don't stop barking. I told him, this, she's barking because my mother-in-law sleeps with the window open and the fart is so fucking loud. Okay? It woke the dog up and the dog just started barking because it heard a noise. So now the poor dog's got to get shot in the ball sack and in the head and shit with a BB gun. It's not fair, bro. It's not fair at all. Dude, dude, you know, like, remember when your father, when you were a kid, your father would get up and go to the bathroom in the morning, and he hit one of those real loud, that's what I got to live with, bro. Thank, my, thank God my girlfriend's not like that. But you know what they say, you know, when you marry a girl, she becomes like a mother. If that's the truth, she, she's fucking out of the house. She's out right away. We won't, we won't get into that. But my mother-in-law, she's got these big fucking legs, because, you know, she's got to hold up upper body, 300 pounds, you know, she needs big, old, big legs to hold up that upper body. Four foot eleven, four foot ten. You know, she's Mexican. She's got these big thighs, uh, like, uh, like Big Rammy. Anyway, let me show you a little bit of me in Walmart. It's no big deal, just a few things I went shopping. I had to pick up a few things. So I brought a video camera with me. I took a couple videos, all right? I'll show you a little bit of that. Hey, and by the way, I'm going to throw a little bit of my legs in this video because you fucking guys, my leg video is kicking ass. You guys fucking keep thinking that an old man fucking can't build legs. So we're going to get to that in a couple minutes. Let me just, uh, let me show you the Walmart bullshit for a second. It's funny because when we walked out of the Walmart, the woman at Walmart goes, oh, the most hated man. And I'm like, and this is like a 70 year old woman who wears like a wig on her head. And if any of you people live by Fishkill, New York, which is far from me, but I like to travel, like it's open 24 hours. All right, you go in there, if you go at night, you know the old lady with the fucking black wig on her head? Her. So, anyway, so she comes up, she starts talking to me like, oh, the most hated man, how you doing, you know, and I know her all the time, I see her all the time, I didn't think she knew who, who you know, who I was, and I had to explain to her, you know, that was a long time ago, the TLC thing, you know, the whole fucking bag of blood, I drained it, you know, you fucking people, anyway, well, it, I, I'm not going to go into that now, because I just did 14 episodes with Generation Iron, and I show you my arms, and I show you a lot of shit, so you're going to want, you're going to want to watch that one. All right, that's something you're definitely gonna want to watch because I expel a lot of shit. But uh, I'm gonna run. All right, so let me show you the Walmart shit. No big deal. It's not fucking great. It's just a little bit of shit. Me, me in there, and then we'll come right back. And I'm gonna show you my legs. Checking out some spices, bro. Cream of tartar. That is probably the best potassium. You better, you should get this instead of getting potassium supplement because most potassium supplements don't work. But cream of tartar, Google it. It's it's really good source of potassium, so I'm gonna take this. Actually, you know where I got this from? Tony Hughes told me this. Tony Hughes, you guys know him as Tony Hughes from Enhanced Athletes, but I know he takes this. And Coach Trevor, those are my boys. So you gotta understand. Uh, actually, they actually asked me to go to South America with him, but I know that they take cream of tartar all the time as a good potassium supplement. So take the fucking cream of tartar. How about that? Yeah, a lot of fucking people eat this shit right here. They're Hershey's because it's sugar-free and chocolate. And, uh, but it's got that maltol, maltol, however you say it, but all that is, that shit is fucking, makes you shit your brains out. So if you eat a lot of this, get ready to have the fucking Hershey squirts instead of the Hershey kisses. I'm putting this shit back. If you know, sugar-free, don't be fucking fooled by that shit.
Oh, I dropped it on the floor. I'm, I gotta look at uh, some of my fucking supplements because even though Rob from Iron Mag Labs gave me some pre-workout, I ran out of it already. So now I gotta fucking look at Walmart pre-workout. Sometimes I get stuck with this shit, which is not bad to be honest with you. But uh, really, I'd rather have Iron Mag Labs pre-workout because it kicks ass. So Rob, if you're watching this, I'm out of it. You know, I ran out of pre-workout. So hint, 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 hint. Anyway, this might have to do. Look at all this shit. Most of this shit's bullshit. You guys fucking, you'll take anything. Definitely, I need this probiotic uh, multi-enzymes. This is digestive enzyme. Okay, I take a lot of digestive enzymes and probiotics because that's like the most important part of you working out, man, is digestion. So I drink apple cider vinegar like a, like a madman. I used to drive Joe Piataro crazy when we used to do videos because I would sit there and swig that shit like, like it was uh, a drink. And I take a lot of digestive enzymes and probiotics. This really is, this one from Walmart's pretty good. I like all the digestive enzymes in here. I think I'm gonna get that one again. Pretty soon I'm gonna need these. I'm 57 years old. <laughs> For when you shit your pants and piss your pants. That's the fucking bad part of getting old. But I don't look 57, so stop the shit. You need them now. My girlfriend just spoke. Yo, look, my girlfriend. She fucking eating M&M's all day, fucking Skittles and shit. Now she wants a cacao bar. I told her, I'm going to give you a cacao. I'm going to ask when we get home. You're going to get my cacao. I'm going to need a Depends. Yeah, fuck you. I'll give you a Depends too. Depends on what I feel like fucking giving you. Okay, so I got eggs, of course, you gotta get eggs. I get oatmeal, get the old-fashioned oats, okay? I don't get the fucking, I don't really get the quick shit. Get your drink. This is my girlfriend's, the cameraman, right there. Zero. I drink diet root beer. Don't give it a shit about the fucking sweeteners. And milk, the uh, unsweetened vanilla almond. So far, that's... So far, that's what we got. So I'm gonna run around a little bit more. Then I'll go home and do some real shit. So, follow me. Bear with me, okay? So let me show you my legs. 57 years old, okay? I don't squat. I'm not on TRT. I don't lift heavy. I do lots of volume. Volume workout. I got striations in my glutes. Yeah, okay? I'm gonna watch for my video about how I fucking blow all the fucking gurus out of the water. Oh, you got a squat. You can't have big legs. Bullshit. I know it's going to kill a lot of you squatters, but hey, not for nothing. Brody's power lifters, they squat. A lot of weight. You see them squatting 800, 900 pounds. Their legs, are, if you, by the time if you cut them down, they're, they're 250 pound guys. You cut them down where there's no body fat left, they, they, their legs aren't bigger than a 200 pound bodybuilders. So, come on. Anyway. I proved the myth wrong, so here, check out my thighs, not for nothing. Natty Valentino. I know, I did juice, give me the break. All right, but I'm not on it now, and I haven't been on it in a while. 57 years old, bro, I don't need a fucking heart attack. Check it out. Ready? Watch. My ass is straight in, Michael. You see, you see his teardrops, right? Try and watch this. You see this? See the ass? See, look at it. Can you see that?
is it recording? See? This. You guys are looking at that fucking goose. It'll hide it. Who's 57 years old? And they say all oh, older guys can't get their legs up. You know, I'm not on steroids. And it's just me. So don't believe older guys can't get the legs. It's because these guys are still training too heavy. You gotta put a lot of reps. Yeah, okay. Arms. Synthol arms. Yeah. Shit. That's with no fucking steroids, bro. No juice. Wanna test me? Test me. Let's put up some Scott Ole, you know? That's no juice. Imagine if I fucking juice. If Kevin LeVron's watching this, dude, I'll get you to fucking win the Olympia. Okay, how'd you think about that, huh? Yeah, you fucking momos, huh? You like that, huh, momos, huh? You like that? Yeah, so much, so much for what the gurus tell you. Yeah, prove them all wrong, bro. You see them fucking, I got striations in my teardrops. And, it, dude, I don't even shave my legs. There's light hair on my legs. I'm not, I'm not hairy, thank God. I'm not hairy Italian, okay? I'm a momo Italian. I don't have a lot of hair on my legs, okay? But... And, I, and not only was there no hair, you know, like I had hair on my legs, but my legs, I'm not even, dude, I'm not even, like, dieted down, bro. I'm smooth, all right? I don't have a gut or anything right now to smooth. And yet you still, still see striations on my ass, deep striations. Tell me now about the gurus, okay? We'll get into that in a, in, in a, in a personal video I'm going to do. But listen to me. You know, this is just a first video. Like I said, this is just a get it something out there, let you guys know. That the Rambo Freak's in your house, bro. Rambo Freak's coming at you. Okay? Loud and clear. Alright, I'm going to be doing this show once a week. And I'm going to I'm gonna talk about things. If you guys want to hear certain stories, you want to know something, or there's something you want to, you know, get, you know, get off your chest, you want to tell me how bad I suck, or whatever. We don't need to be bashing each other. There's no, there's no problems here with me. I want to unify the clan. I want everybody to not only get along, because it's stupid, all the shit that's going on. He took my interview. No, I had the interview first. Oh, my God. You know, who gives a shit, okay? Realistically. We got we to start getting along, because this is bullshit, bro. This is all bullshit. The shit that's going on today is out of control, and it's not right. I believe in unification. I don't like drama. I don't like bullshit. I don't like, you know, the stuff that's going around now, okay? This is Greg Valentino, the rambling freak. In your face, bro. I'm in your face. I'm going to have a lot of fun with you guys. Maybe I'll do some interviews. You know, maybe we'll do a few fun things on here. Uh, you know, some live stuff, some, you know, whatever. Whatever I decide to do. So if you got any ideas, throw them at me. Okay, go to the MD forums. You can put down, you know, on there what you want to see, what you want, to, what you want me to talk about, what you find it. That, dude, I, nobody comes here. Listen, nobody's going to come here to hear contest updates or what I think of the condition of Phil Heath. Or, what do you think, Sean Roden? Do you think he needs to get his hamstrings up? I don't give a shit. Don't do that shit to me. I'm not, you, you know, I'm the wrong guy. If that's what you want to see, go, go watch others. You know, you got Ron Harris on here reporting about bodybuilding and, and all that stuff. I'm not going to sit here and talk about that stuff. I'm here to do some entertainment, and we're going to talk about good shit and real shit. I'm not going to color code anything, all right? All right. So right now, the hot thing, Rich Piana, let's not just say anything. Let's just say, hey, guys, let's hope that he gets better. There's a lot of people out there who don't wish him well, which is really fucked up in my opinion. But let's hope that Rich Piana gets well. I want you guys to do me a favor. Remember that bodybuilding is just, it's really more or less a lifestyle, okay? For most of you guys, you're not pro bodybuilders, you're not, you know, so simmer down with things, take your family first, make sure you got a job to support yourself, be good to your wife, be good to your kids, okay, really, it's the most important thing you have is your family, so I want you guys, that's to be your main focus, alright, make sure you make money for your family, and this bodybuilding stuff comes after that. It's really important. That's my message to you guys. You know what I'm going to tell you right now. Subscribe right here. Okay? Muscular Development. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this show. Stop fucking around. See you guys in the next video.
Raymond Freak in your face. Ah, what's up? <laughs> this is Greg Valentino. You don't need no Superman. Watch me do some videos for you, Muscular Development TV. Rule. Yo, who's the loser now? You are. Whoa! I'm going to the gym with Greg Valentino I'm going to the club with Greg Valentino We got the biggest arms Greg Valentino Said Greg Valentino Greg Valentino Greg Valentino, Greg Valentino, Greg Valentino.